God, these meetings tonight have been brutal. I know, I can barely keep my eyes open. You guys, I am so done with Janet. Okay, she is awful. I know. She's always like running down the hallway so fast. It's like, what's the big rush, Janet? You don't actually <laughs> do anything. I know. And does she have to eat tuna every day? It makes me <laughs> sick. And she chews with her mouth open like a farm animal. Yes. Okay, so the worst is when she's quiet. It's so creepy. Seriously, like yesterday when we were carpooling, I completely forgot she was in the car because she didn't say a word the whole time. Then all of a sudden, she just pops up in the back seat out of nowhere like Chucky. Oh. <laughs> Chucky. Meh. We didn't uh, realize you were in there. Well, I was. Did you hear us talking? No, not really. Only the part where you compared me to Janet, you filthy slut! You all think you're the best with me! I know no one likes getting called into an HR meeting, but given what happened this morning, I felt it was necessary. Chucky, as you know, we have a company policy against stabbing your coworkers in the legs with a knife. But ladies, we also have a zero tolerance policy when it comes to bullying. What you said about Chucky was uncalled for, especially comparing him to Janet, who we all know sucks. I'm sorry, uh, why do I have to be here? To take notes, Janet. <laughs> okay, so how can we stop this kind of thing from happening in the future? By putting these bitches in body bags. See, that's it right there. Chucky's always saying things like that. I also think these gender neutral bathrooms were a big mistake. Uh oh. Only because now I have to worry about Chucky dropping down from the ceiling and landing on my back while I'm sitting on the toilet. Don't tap me with a good time. No, Chucky, stop. Chucky, I understand that when your feelings get hurt, your first instinct is violence. For example, you're stabbing me in the leg right now. Oh my god. You see, he doesn't belong here. Yes, he does. Each of us has a different story. Megan, you have a background in PR. Peggy, you were in the military. And Chucky, you did an ancient voodoo curse that when combined with a lightning strike, transferred your soul to the body of a doll. That's something that no one else here can say. He's not even listening. Yeah, wow, 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 yeah. Wow, I think we're making progress. Look! Ah! Oh my God! Janet! Are you eating tuna right now? What? Well,